My previously stained fence was starting to look pretty awful. As this can be a tedious task, I thought to compare paint sprayers to see which one handles this with ease. Here I'm checking out Toolands, Inocraft, Max Spray, M1, and M3 sprayers. Up first was getting the fence ready for its new solid color stain plus sealer. Overall, the fence is in great shape. The panels and previous stain just needed some cleaning with a deck cleaner. A little scrubbing, a little spraying, a little drying, and it was time to check out these airless paint sprayers. First up is the Max Spray M1, and right off the bat you can see how uncomplicated this portable sprayer is. And bonus, most everything you need is included. The quick start guide is clear as day. One of my favorite features is this 360 degree sprayer swivel. This safety feature ensures no getting twisted up in the hose. Use the enclosed wrench to attach the 25 foot spray hose and assembly is done. The knobs are very clearly labeled and they're also very easy to use. The sprayer itself has a locking mechanism so there's no accidental spraying. Everything is just so user friendly. Time to prime the system which is super simple. Set the knobs in the correct positions and run the clean water through. And though the Atomax spray tip greatly minimizes overspray, protecting things is always good. With prep done, it's time to prime the system with paint. Here I was using a surprisingly thick acrylic based exterior solid stain and stealer. I was concerned the stain was too thick, but the M1 handled it with ease, no thinning required. Be sure to slip on a mask and those anti fog safety goggles that Max Spray has included. The M1 handily delivered an outstanding professional contractor grade evenly coated finish in just seconds. As you can see, using this M1 airless sprayer is so easy, so painless, so effortless, and it gives you such a beautiful contractor grade finish in just mere seconds, it is so impressive. Okay, but how about the Max Spray M3 you're wondering? Let's get rolling with it and find out. First thing I noticed, was it has a built-in wheeled cart for additional portability and a second 25-foot spray hose for even longer reach. Like the M1, the M3 comes with an extension pole to help you reach further if needed, though this one is longer at 18 inches. Love that 360 degree swivel. The M3 has all the same features and tools as the M1, such as wrenches, and boy, those wheels really make it easy to maneuver around. Setup and priming the M3 is exactly the same as the M1, which helps eliminate some decision making between these two. A key difference with the M3 is its capacity handling a 5 gallon bucket directly, a 15 gallon project size, and manages larger scale or whole house projects without even batting an eye. As with the M1, the M3 is a dream to use. It's easy to control and the finish is absolutely perfect. I was having so much fun, this was so easy to use, I decided to finish my whole entire fence, which took all of maybe 10 minutes to do. Cleanup is always the most feared part of using a sprayer, so to make this as painless as possible, both sprayers come with a garden hose hookup adapter. Just connect the paint intake hose to your garden hose, twist the knobs to the clean settings, and clear everything out. Simple as can be. Then, to clean the sprayer and the sprayer hose, all you do is leave the garden hose connected, flip a few switches around, pull the paint trigger, and spray. Just as before, the garden hose does all the work for you. Brushes to clean the spray tip and other parts are included with both the M1 and the M3, which is incredibly helpful. These are truly perfect for homeowners, remodelers, and even large-scale projects. How terrific does my fence look, right? Both the Max Spray M1 and M3 did a brilliant job with completely professional results. Honestly, I would be so hard pressed to pick between one over the other. They are both so fantastic. Thanks to Tulip for sponsoring this video.